All right, guys. You saw the ad. Let's go get this poutine sandwich. Meat, poutine, gravy. Let's go see what this is all about. Yeah, I'm gonna try that uh, poutine dip uh, sandwich. Okay. Can I get that in a combo with uh, curly fries? Coke to drink? Yeah, yeah, root beer, please. Okay. And that's it. 1558 at the window, please. There you go. Thank you. Any barbecue, horseradish, ketchup? Horseradish, please. Just be a moment. Yeah, no rush. Perfect, thanks so much. Guys, there we have it. We have the Arby's Poutine Dip Sandwich. Roast beef, curly fries, cheese. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Actually, I don't know what I'm feeling. I've never heard of such thing so crazy. Let's get this to the food lab. Let's chop it up, let's eat it up. We'll give you a quick review. Is it worth it? Oh, hell no. That was $15.50, including the drink and some curly fries. Cause you know, Arby's, you gotta get curly fries. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this one, but this is for you guys. Just to let you know what up. Roast beef, cheese, poutine. I don't know what it's going to taste like, so we'll find out. All right, guys, I don't know how big you think this is, but this thing is huge. Look at this thing. Oh, my goodness. All right. You know, there's only one thing that we need to do now. It's going to be taking a bite. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to this week's video. Today, oh, wow, for the first time, Arby's. Today we're at Arby's. We are checking out a tremendously crazy, crazy concoction. It is called the Poutine Dip Sandwich, I think. I, I, see the description. Let me tell you about this thing. This is basically a sub roll. They've got beef on it. They've got curly fry poutine. That's cheese curds, gravy, you know how the newbie crew absolutely loves poutine. So can you imagine a sandwich with a poutine on it? Boom! That's a W-O-W -W right there. Wow! Let's get into it right away. So first thing in the bag cam. This sandwich is not cheap, guys. This thing is $10.00. And I opted for a curly fry as well and a drink to go with it. But this thing, as you heard, was $13.79 in the combo. $15.58. It would have been like $17 bucks without the combo if I just added pieces. So $9.99. What are you going to get with $9.99? I don't know. All right. Besides that, let's check the bag cam. Oh, yeah. There it is. I don't want to mess up with it too much because it might spill. First thing you're going to get, gravy. This is Arby's signature gravy, I guess. Beef gravy and what? They get, it's half full. Well, if you're dipping a sandwich, I don't know half is enough, but half, half gravy. Oh, Arby's. They call it big flavor. Arby's, show the logo. Big flavor. But we'll see, we'll be the judge of that. Big flavor. All right, next, what do we got? I can't tell, actually. Oh, here we go. Super important, horsey sauce. I don't know if I'm gonna test it with the horsey sauce right now. That's kind of a mayo with horseradish. It's kind of spicy. It's very flavorful. Underneath, oh, just a visa bill. All right. 
I don't know if you can see this, guys. In the bag cam, I don't know if you can actually see it. No, you can't see it. Oh, you got to trust me on this one. Let's pull out the sandwich. Oh, there it is. That's pretty big. That's probably like six inches or eight. It. Let me just check. Yeah, that's about eight inches right there. Eight inches. You have the meats, boys. You have the meats. That's what she said. All right, guys. Just to let you know, there was a couple of bonus fries underneath here. Mmm. Super tasty. All right. Let's put that aside. Oh, boy. I'm, I, I, I'm so excited, guys. All right. Let's go for the unveiling. All right, for the first time. Oh, this is gonna be messy. I can tell you messy. I don't know if you guys watched KBD Productions, but they opened this last week. I was intrigued when I, there it is. Holy crap. Oh man. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Crap. Oh. Um, guys, super long sub bun. There's poutine, which is cheese, curds, gravy, curly fries, and underneath is the roast beef. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my god, it's huge. Oh, oh shit. Okay, got guys, I gotta go to the second camera. I gotta get some close ups of this. All right, guys, I don't know how big you think this is, but this thing is huge. Look at this thing. Oh, my goodness. All right. You know, there's only one thing that we need to do now. It's going to be taking a bite. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay, need to assess this one more time. This thing is big. Just to let you know, guys, this is big. Okay. <laughs> this is so gravy and messy. I don't know what to tell you. The bun. The bun is super soft. That is a plus, plus, plus in my eyes. You can't have a hard, crusty roll. You can't bite into it if, you, if it's there. The bun is nice and soft. It absorbs the juices. Phenomenal. Number two, this is roast beef. If you don't like roast beef and you don't like the salt flavor of it, you're not going to like this sandwich. I can tell you that this sandwich is very salty. Or the roast beef is. Oh my God. This is falling all over the place. I think it's supposed to be held up in this little diaper, this little paper bag, but it's so full of gravy that it's not, it's not very useful. I was going to do a review of this in the car. That would have been a disaster. This would have been all over the place. But so far, so far it's like having a poutine, taking a bite and having a bite of sandwich. It's a very novel, I know I've not even finished it, but I'll tell you this is just a novelty. I would probably just want to get a sandwich and I'd get a poutine to go along with it. Now one thing they did, I did, haven't done yet is put the gravy in, so let's go in for the dip. 
I mean, I think this is premature to dip it because it's so messy, but I'm going in for the dip. Oh! Let's go in for a pour. Oh! I'm just gonna taste this gravy by itself. Don't don't be offended. Oops, guys, don't be offended. I, I need to taste this gravy. There's something in the gravy. It's very peppery. It's very overpoweringly peppery. So it's like a pepper pepper gravy. Let's call it that way. Um, I don't actually care for it. It's not very, I, I don't, it doesn't complement, it doesn't complement the sandwich. And it's also not very beefy. Yeah, ugh. I apologize, Arby. Flavor, gravy. That may get a one and a half out of five stars. It's I don't think I like the gravy very well. It's it's peppery, but there's no beef flavor to it. It's not salty. I'm gonna try horseradish. This is their go-to sauce when you're buying roast beef. I'll take a big squirt of it. This horse radish mayo. Horse radish mayo. Yep. Yep. Horse radish. If you like horseradish, this has got a nice mild horseradish flavor. If you're not a fan of the big flavor on it, don't put it on. What I think this sandwich lacks, we have another bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. There's so many flavors mixing. All the flavor is soft. Everything is mushy. There's nothing crunchy about it. There's no different texture. It's just warm, mushy bread, mm, gravy, the cheese, the fries. The best part about this is definitely the poutine or the curly fries with gravy in it. This gravy though, is not the same as this dipping sauce. This uh, dipping sauce, I don't like it. The gravy on this is different. The poutine gravy, I feel like it's different. There is a peppery flavor to it. And that's quite enjoyable. The roast beef, well, it's just roast beef, so. And there's a lot of roast beef for 10 bucks. Mmm. Guys, you're gonna ask, you'll be asking me, well, is it worth it? Would I spend the big bucks on this again? Nope. Is it worth $10? Nope. I'd rather buy a curly fried poutine. I'd rather get their chicken sandwich. But there's roast beef. If you really like roast beef, it's a it's standard roast beef sandwich from Arby's. The way they topped it, though, I think it's a I think this is a TikTok event. This is an Instagram event. You can I use the word you can use it for social media, but as a 
something I'd eat every day. I definitely would not eat this every day. Mm. But the curd fries and the gravy and the poutine and the cheese curds, fire. Fire. <laughs> so messy. But the roast beef is just a re regular roast beef sandwich. Nothing special to write about. But it's soft. It's nice and warm. By the way, I'm super full now. I could barely get the last couple of bites in. That's how big this is. This is the same cost as a Big Mac meal almost. I think I'd prefer a Big Mac than this, but for change of pace, roast beef. Mmm. It's good. Overall, I could have a 3 out of 5. Right down the middle, you can go either way with it, but it's too expensive. And the dipping sauce is a failure in my eyes. It's not very good. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to agree with me. It's just weirdly peppery. Not very beefy in flavor in the gravy or the dipping sauce. It's pretty expensive and it's a good sandwich overall, but it's not worth it. Alright guys, I think I'm done. I can't finish this. It's not that good. So, 10 bucks for the sandwich. Three out of five. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you th thought this was hot trash, well, give it a thumbs down. But comment, tell your friends about Arby's. It's a limited time. Go out and get it. But this is the first time I don't think I've ever finished a piece of sandwich. Like, it's, it's not very good. All right, until then, we're out for the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Peace out. <laughs>